Dr. Turow, what do Americans most get wrong or don't understand about how the information um, about them is being used? What we found in our national surveys is that while Americans understand that they're being followed online, um, often to serve them ads and do other things, they don't really know how data mining takes place. They don't understand how companies connect the dots about them to yield up certain kinds of results. And they really don't understand the legal issues uh, connected to uh, the use of their information. People are much more secure in the idea that the government protects them on certain issues when that's really not the case. For example, price discrimination. Americans not only think that price discrimination, that is charging people different prices depending on what you know about them, not only do they think that's wrong, they think that in a lot of cases it's illegal when it's not. You've been surveying people on privacy for a long time. Have people's attitudes changed and are there any generational differences? Um, actually, what we have found is that the younger people tend to, to be more um, acceptable of certain kinds of um, use of their information than older people. But in the questions we asked in our most recent survey, we found that even people 18 to 24, when asked if they wanted ads to be tailored for them uh, if, to make ads more relevant, over 50% said no. Uh, what's Really interesting, however, is we don't know whether the current generation that we see that supposedly is more uh, accepting of uh, data transfer than, say, the older generation, we don't know if that's maturational or generational. Um, there's not been, as far as I know, longitudinal studies to show this. In other words, will this generation, as it gets older, has cars, has homes, uh, will it be less accepting of data transfer than it is now simply because the people are younger? Or are we seeing a genuine generational shift? We don't know the answer. What do you think is going to happen in the future with online advertising and customization? Is it going to get worse or better, different? Well, I think what we'll see increasingly is that customization or tailoring on the part of uh, advertisers and media firms is the lay of the land. That is. Uh, more and more in order to get people's attention, uh, companies are going to not only tailor ads, they're going to tailor news agendas, maybe even news stories, entertainment and information to people with the hope that when they get those entertainment bits or information or news bits, that will the interest in that will lead them to click on or respond to the ads better than if they were getting more general, non-tailored material. So we'll see much more, and that's not going to just be on online, it will be on television, it will be in, uh, on the web, it will be in the supermarket, it will be pretty well everywhere that we go, we will see ourselves through the eyes of marketers. Can targeting lead to social discrimination? It can. Um, what I mean by social discrimination is the idea of people who perceive themselves as differently understood by certain powers in society. So for example, if, uh, if you get a Louis Vuitton ad whenever you go to a certain website and I get a Walmart ad, not to say there's anything wrong with Walmart, um, I may think that somehow that site or the advertisers on that site have a systematic sense about me which is very downscale compared to what they think of you. Multiply that in many, many ways on a variety of levels in a variety of contexts and we have people who are going to be drawn differently because of the way in which they're pictured by marketers. Um, now marketers may come back and say why should I not uh, want to reach people who only care about Louis Vuitton and have the ability to buy it uh, versus say Walmart. I understand that perspective. The problem is that it does have implications for the way people see themselves within the society and may lead to certain kinds of tensions in that regard.